Well, mechatronics engineers are responsible for many modern day advancements, a wide range of consumer products and industrial machinery, from cars to television to robotic assembly lines. For example, for evolutionary products demand, flexible manufacturing systems can be used when minor changes in design are required. However, uh, automation product lines cannot accommodate for such change and are very expensive to deploy new systems again. In the integrated systems approach, there are various interconnected subsystems, elements, components, and normally a dynamic coupling between them is desired rather than the traditional cascading approach. So control and electronics are not afterthoughts. Mechatronics requires technical coordination and very good organizational skills. Intelligent mechatronic systems such as UGV, UAVs, microwave vehicles, they use computational intelligence capabilities such as sensing, learning, reasoning, making decisions from incomplete information using AI techniques so they can provide improved situation awareness using embedded sensors. Megatronics uh, has extended applications in the medical device industry, healthcare domain. Some of our alumni and ongoing students shared their experiences with us, both uh, on-campus experience as well as industrial experience. In the following videos will show that. My fascination with smart devices has been a motivation of force in choosing mechatronics engineering at Monash USA. I graduated in 2013 and I'm a proud alumni of Monash. The exposure in a research environment during my final year project as an undergraduate student facilitated me with the first real-world research experience that led me to pursue a career in medical robotics research, which led me to my first work offer in the same area as a research board assistant. We have microaerial vehicles and what we're doing is taking uh, hobbyist microhelicopters like this and integrating our own sensors and microcontrollers and radio transceivers into them so that we can use, then use them as a platform for mechatronics research. My name is Jack Murphy. I'm currently completing my final year of mechatronics engineering at Monash University. I'm also working as an electronics and fabrication engineer within the design department of General Motors Australia. Um, my study at Monash opened up the opportunity to successfully apply for and work as an undergraduate engineer at GM Holden full-time for 12 months. And that was in the electrical engineering department where I was a part of the design, release and launch of the electronic subsystems in the widely acclaimed VF Commodore. Um, my background in mechatronics and my experience at Holden, that led to my current role where I'm leading the integration of the existing production electronic components in applications for global vehicle design and fabrication projects and some of these are presented all over the world. So I'm a research student uh, in the field of mechatronics and my research or my work is based on the path planning of robots, specifically the path planning and the kinematic analysis of general robotic arms and manipulators. I obtained my uh, bachelor degree in, in mechatronics two years ago and my major focus was on design and analysis of mechanical structures. Now I'm extending my uh, research into this minimally invasive surgery robot. Um, my name's Michael and I'm currently doing third year mechatronics engineering. My name is Morgan, I'm also doing third year mechatronics engineering. So, what do you really study in mechatronics? Well, I suppose in mechatronics you obviously study some electrical things. So, um, as an example, so this is a group project that we're doing. Um, and we're building a little, little bit of a hobby car robot. And the idea is that you combine some electrical components. You know, we, we learn how to use the chips, voltage regulators and things. Um, and I suppose some of the mechanical. And GPU, board. Oh yes, GPU board. And integrating the camera into the systems. Mm. And also, you see um, down here, in the, you have servos and motors and such. So, uh, you need to understand about torque and the dynamics of how this machine will move. It's, uh, it's other things you will study in electronics. Um, furthermore, like, there is a need for modeling and control and um, other stuff 
such as uh, thermal dynamics. Do you, do you also learn that? Ah, uh, yes, of course. It's a chemical field. You've got to learn how to fluids. Um, the temperature naturally comes under fluids and such. So, um, so I suppose. <laughs> so not only that, we also learn um, how to work in industry because we learn about CNC machine and uh, modeling certain stuff to work better. A lot of CAD software as well, which is quite important in the mechanical discipline. Um, yeah. All right, and if you do mechatronics engineering at Monash, you get to build cool robots like these. So there's your electrical component. The entire car itself is a mechanical component, I guess. And yeah, you get to program this uh, microprocessor to do whatever you want. Experiences. Um, well, it's a lot of teamwork, uh, communication, uh, great fun, but also a lot of work uh, and stress. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The material in mechatronics mainly consists of programming, electronics and control theory. The material is heavily math based, but is, it's extremely rewarding. The first few years will be more theory based, however this is necessary in building a solid foundation of knowledge from which to build off of in uh, later years. Um, while I'm studying uh, mechatronics, um, well there's a range of units from mechanical and electrical as well as units uh, that are just exclusive to the mechatronics unit, um, such as uh, sensors and artific artificial perception, um, and a few project units as well. Um, my experience in studying mechatronics engineering, um, well, I feel like it gives me a, a pretty broad understanding from a couple disciplines in engineering, um, which is going to hold me in good stead, um, whether I want to go into um, more electrical um, side of things or mechanical. Um, there's also an opportunity to go into software development as well. My name is James and I'm in my third year of mechatronics engineering at Monash. Hi, my name is Yao and I'm the fourth year mechatronics engineering student. Hi guys, my name is Don and I'm a fourth year mechatronics It's basically the interface between mechanical and electrical engineering. Uh, mechatronics engineers are involved with designing and building all sorts of different um, electromechanical systems. So basically, mechatronics engineers build robots.